oh my god it has been so long since i've done a vlog on this channel it's been years oh by the way i have a cat now shy shy come here baby i don't know if you heard him meow but he's lurking in the corner come here shy his name is shy and he's the cutest cuddliest little kitten sometimes he plays too much and he thinks i'm playing but he tries to bite me he's fucking with my camera right now shy shy <laughs> shy chill oh my god whoa relax <laughs> anyways he wasn't originally my kitty but i guess i'm co-parenting cat sitting whatever you want to call it um and he's at my place right now and eventually he will be at the other person's place, right, Shy Shy? Anyway, so today's vlog, I'm sharing some footage from the past few months. Um, the first clip is me doing a try-on haul for you guys by Cupshe. Cupshe is a company that I'm collaborating with on this video. I'm going to show you guys some of the looks that I'm going to be bringing on vacation with me. I'm going to Jamaica next week, and Cupshe sent me some bathing suits and some dresses that I'm absolutely obsessed with. And I think you guys are gonna love them too. So if you guys are interested in getting any of the items in this video I'm gonna link them all down below with item codes and a coupon code as well So you can save some money after the try and haul I'm just gonna show you guys some clips from my life since oh my god like February March or something. I don't even know how old these uh, clips go back to but enjoy them I haven't shared parts of my life with you guys other than astrology in years. All right, I guess let's start with the try on haul today I wanted to show you guys some of my favorite at home outfits you know just for when you're cleaning the house or running some errands you know maybe cleaning up after your cat <sighs> no but in all seriousness today i'm giving you guys body looks everything because who's texting me because i'm going to jamaica very soon all right look number one as you can see we got this dress right here it's absolutely beautiful I won't lie to you, I thought that Cupshe was not the quality that it's giving. I assumed it would be like any other fast fashion brands, I don't want to name names, but I thought that the quality would be similar. Cupshe's quality is on point, like the bathing suits you're going to see, this dress, like it has layers on the inside, yeah, the slip is nice, the strings are really nice, everything's well put together, the stitching is great, so yeah. This is the back of the dress. It looks really good on my skin complexion, so if you're a brown skin, dark skin girl, I definitely suggest getting this color. And the slit is really cute. I love it, I love it, I love it. Also, please ignore the litter box. I tried to make it look a little cuter by putting <laughs> decor on it, but it's just, it's a litter box, you know, you can't, you can't really make it look cute. Anyways, on to next. This is giving Mykonos vacation vibes. Like, I can just picture myself in Santorini. Oh, how pretty with like the blue water behind me. I'm definitely bringing this to Jamaica. This dress is gorgeous. I'm 5'8", and it actually sits pretty well on my ankles. Definitely needs a good steam or iron. Um, that's my bad, but it's beautiful. I don't think I tied the back evenly, but it's a beautiful dress, and I am very, very impressed and happy with it. It is gorgeous. Wow, I've never seen myself in a dress like this before. Like, I usually wear like really short, um, more casual ones, and this one's like, this one's pretty! Okay, okay, Kapshi! So this one here is very cute. I'm going on a family vacation, so I'm going to be at a reunion. So I don't want it to be too cheeky, and this one is just enough. Like, I'm not going to show you all the goods, but I still feel cute and sexy. The top is amazing. I do not have the biggest boobs, but this top is definitely, you know, making up for it. There's like a wire at the bottom here that keeps it in place, and it's actually really good quality. Listen, I was picturing AliExpress quality. This is good. I am very impressed. Yeah, I'm absolutely in love with this bathing suit. I think, I don't know which one's my favorite. I haven't tried them on yet, but so far I'm loving this one of the bathing suits. Oh my God. I have never bought a quality bathing suit before. So the difference between an AliExpress bathing suit and sorry, not to throw other brands under the bus, but a fast fashion bathing suit. And this is crazy. Like I love the quality has lots of support here um thick padding straps are adjustable cute little emblem in the middle very very cute bottoms are much cheekier than the last oh, don't want to give you too much but just know they're cheeky i will probably bring this on vacation but we'll only wear it on the days in which i know my whole family won't be around but this one is very very cute i love it and the color is giving what's supposed to give if you have a similar complexion as me this color is definitely 
a must because I've never really experimented with this shade of blue and I love it. Okay, this one definitely makes me look like I have more boob than I do. I think all of these are doing that. However, my body doesn't look like snatched, you know? But that's okay, because that's my body, that's not the bathing suit. Um, slightly cheeky, not super cheeky. Back is a cute crisscross. Quality, 10 out of 10. I I love Cupshe. I didn't know that I loved Cupshe. I'm so happy that I accepted this collaboration because I'm very, very impressed. Color, the look, and I love how like it cuts like this without needing like an emblem or something in the middle. I like that it just naturally just sits properly. Adjustable straps on this one as well and very very comfortable but again yeah it's a little cheeky but not too cheeky <laughs> i am obsessed with the simplicity of this bathing suit like i love these because it matches my um sunglasses perfectly everything so far has fit absolutely perfectly as if it was made for my body it fits my waist it fits my hips it fits my ass um, these ones are slightly cheeky as well nothing crazy but definitely a little more revealing but I feel very comfortable in all of these. None of these are making me feel uncomfortable. I love them. And I swear to you guys, I'm not, I'm not just exaggerating. Like, I genuinely love these pieces. Like, come on. It's so pretty. It's so pretty, so basic, but I love it. But yeah. Okay, I just finished therapy. Oh, that was a good session. That was a really good session. I feel like I'm making a lot of progress and my therapist acknowledged that and I felt really good about the whole conversation oh it's cold oh my god <sighs> but yeah like therapy is life-changing man if you're not in therapy you should get in therapy i think it's for everybody honestly it's just like it's so important um anyways today i really like my outfit it's really cute it's giving like 90s realness let me show you guys hold on so i'm wearing like this cool top with this like, really interesting fabric it kind of reminds me of like a tattoo sleeve and i tied it like halfway through and then i got like these little braids going on this was like my go-to hairstyle last summer and then i forgot about it and then i saw zoe kravitz doing it so i had to do it <laughs> and then i got my merch here just like magic tote bag if you guys don't know i have merch now and it's really cute so yeah now i'm heading to a cafe called sonder and i'm gonna go meet a friend for coffee and i don't know what's after that we'll see some of the stuff I'm getting rid of this is all trash this right here is selling no this is to bring to my parents house and this is uh, Plato's closet stuff I'm gonna sell it and then I'm gonna donate the rest and this is just storage because I don't know where to put it so it needs a home okay so I just went to Plato's I got a lot of clothes left over I made 20 Oh, my music. <laughs> $28. I mean, we could have done better than that. The clothes was out of season, you know, so I understand. That's Play-Doh's right there. I go to the one at Stockyards in Toronto. If you know, you know, but yeah. Now I'm gonna do some returns. I don't really know yet if I'm going to. It depends on if there's parking available or not. If there's not, I'm just gonna go straight home because it's on the way, um, but yeah. I don't know where my day's gonna go. I just know that I'm running some errands. Good morning. Okay, it's not really morning. It's oh, one, two, three, four. It's well, twelve. Well, uh, it's twelve thirty-four, and I woke up late today. Look at my hair. I set my alarm for seven o'clock in the morning because I'm trying to get back to waking up early. I woke up at five, and then I was like, okay, no, I slept at one, so five was too early. Even though I felt wide awake. I knew that it would catch up to me and waking up at 5 just wasn't it. Yeah, yesterday I didn't end up going to the gym which was disappointing as well. Like, I feel like I just, I hate letting myself down because I feel like it really messes with my self-trust and 
I don't know. I tell myself I'm gonna do something and then I don't. Today I just have work. So right now, oh, I have a part-time job. I don't know if you guys knew that. I work at a dispensary part-time. But yeah, today I'm just like picking up on someone's shift because I guess maybe someone called in sick, I don't really know. And I'm just getting ready. I don't really do the most. I usually look quite raggedy when I go because I really don't care. Um, but right now I'm just fixing my hair because I do have errands to run after. Yeah, my day pretty much consists of some errands, getting rid of the stuff that I decluttered yesterday, and going to work for five hours. 